Hey, what's up guys? This is Asnan in a watching training code. So I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. And in today's video, we are going to take a look on how to use an internet from the image. Um, I'm sorry, uh, how to use the image from the internet inside the Flutter app and how to use icons, okay? So um, in case if you have missed my previous videos of Flutter, you should go ahead and take a look on that because this video is going to be continued series of that particular uh, particular videos okay so uh, in this video we are going to use the code from the previous video as well and um, so far we have created something like this which is having a row inside the row we are having a different um, different um, text widgets okay so um, uh, what if we need an uh, what if we need an image right over here okay uh, right over here and um, uh, we need some icons underneath that image okay so um, to do that uh, what you can do is now we have created a row okay now the problem is if I go ahead and create a new widget over here just like this new uh, image and the image is have going to be have a problem what I'm going to just say you right now or just show you right now an image is going to be from internet so it's going to be image dot network okay and the network is going to take a source and the source is going to come from internet and um, we need to just go ahead and take the source from okay so uh, I'll just go ahead and paste it and I'm going to get a source from the internet like this way and just reload it and you are going to get something like this on the screen now I'll just tell you the problem if you are using a row and inside the row you're going to have an image which is going to be something like this okay which is going to be an outside of the row and we don't need that we need that particular uh, particular thing to be underneath that uh, underneath that hello text okay so uh, to do that as I told you row works horizontally and column work uh, vertically okay so um, we need a column for that okay so what we will do is we will create a column inside the column uh, we, are, we are going to create a row which is going to have an, a text and after that we are going to have an uh, image underneath that particular uh, text so I will just go ahead and do one thing is um, I will just create a row uh, I will just create a column right over here and the column inside the column uh, if I just save it then the, all these things is going to be in horizontal we don't need that we don't need that horizontal things okay uh, we need the text to be inside the row so inside the column we are going to create so if you take a look then we are going to get something like this but we don't need that we need something like the text it should be in, in a uh, horizontal and, and underneath that text we, are, we should have an image which is going to be uh, vertical okay so if you will just go ahead and take a look we are going to create the inside the children we are going to create a new row and uh, the new row is going to have uh, the new row is going to have an, a text okay so if you just go ahead and create a new row um, okay the intelligence is not working and that's the problem R should be capital okay and inside the row um, we are going to uh, copy and paste the expanded things okay so just go ahead and copy and paste it okay so uh, just over here paste it and uh, okay wait there mm, okay so just go ahead and copy and paste the whole thing command X and command V over here and just hit and enter to remove these errors I mean hit the comma to remove these errors so um, the thing is we having in a column the column is having a children's and uh, the children is having a new row and the new row is having the expanded uh, expanded things now the that is a problem for the row 
Okay, so um, if we'll just take a look on too many positional but accepted four. One, two, three, four, and the row is completed over here. What's the problem with the row? Okay, uh, I figured out the problem and the problem was um, we should use children. So we cannot directly use the expanded like, uh, like this way. We should use, we should use children for that. I'm sorry. So, um, so just go ahead and um, copy and paste the widgets. That is our text widgets, comma. Just hit the comma over here and uh, save it. So um, we are going to have a column. Inside the column, we are having a row. And inside, after completing the rows, we are having the text and uh, underneath the text we are going to have an image okay so uh, if you will just go ahead and take a look on this then exactly that's what we need so there is a three uh, different text and um, we are having uh, we are having the particular that particular image and underneath the image now we need uh, icons so if you will just go over here, your image is getting completed right over here. Now you need, uh, now you need is uh, new uh, icons. Okay, so uh, just new um, icons. So icons is going to be how. Mm. Okay, new icon, not an icons, and inside that um, uh, icons dot uh, the name of the icon which we want to use, but uh, it is not going to work like this way. I think so. We are going to have to use a new icon. No, we can't use that. So icon icons. Yeah, icons dot the name of the icon that is going to be our thumbs up. Okay, and um, what's okay now? If you will just go ahead and save that, you're going to get a thumbs up icon which will be present over there. Okay, so um, go ahead and take a look we got that okay and it is expanded because we are using the expanded over here and um, if you need a text you can just create a new text over here and if you want um, now what if you want a padding around the around the around the particular icons okay you can just go ahead and use you're not going to use a container again because uh, we already have a one container but without container if you need a padding you can just go ahead and use the padding class right right away okay so uh, it's going to be something like new padding okay and um, the padding is going to have a child and padding okay so um, instead of child um, first we'll give a padding okay so the padding is going to be of a new age insist the same way which we have seen previously all and it is going to take an hundred point zero so from all these sides it's going to get an hundred padding and it is going to have a child that is our icon okay so a child is going to be our, our new the same thing I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that I don't need to write again and again okay so just like this okay um, so we have a padding of uh, 100 from all the sides and we have uh, we have a children that is going to be our icon okay so in the same way you can use the padding and you can create multiple icons or if you want you can just use any widgets to give a padding by using a padding class so if we will just go ahead and take a look, we are going to get a padding 
now if I just go ahead and paste that the same thing and we are using a uh, column so it is going to be in a vertical position and if you want uh, to be in a single row a single column uh, I mean a single horizontal way you should use a row okay so just go ahead and um, paste that save it and um, reload that and you're going to get the icons which is going to be um, padding which is going to have a padding of of 100 100 now this is the problem what we have right now because uh, we are not giving the maximum height and width of a, we're not having a scroll right over here so this is the problem if I just reduce the height uh, I mean if I reduce the padding and just make it as 10 10 then we are not going to get out from that screen and because of that screen is not having a scroll uh, that's why we are getting an error now in the future I'll just show you how to create this scroll how to how to align the width to the or how to create a vertical scroll how to create a horizontal scroll in the future okay so now if you just go ahead and take a look uh, you're going to get the two, uh, two um, icons which are having a padding of 10 10 now you need this icon to be aligned in the same row so for that you're going to use a new row again right over here after the image and uh, new row and um, the row is going to have a children's okay and uh, the children's is our padding icons okay so just control command X and command V save it and take a look we are going to get the particular icons will be aligned in a single row so um, just reload that I'm sorry okay so as you can see we reloaded that and we are having an icons which is having a padding of 10 10 you just go ahead and increase the padding just like um, 80 and 80 80 and 10 reload that and um, you're going to get that but paddings uh, differently because we are using like this okay so uh, I hope you guys understand how to use the icons how to use the text how to use columns what is the difference between row and column okay and um, there is a small task for you people okay uh, as I told you uh, as I have just shown you in the first video that what we are going to create but I think so um, for now it's so easy for you to create that uh, and um, it's a small task for you okay S just go ahead and build the same UI which I have just shown you in my slides and just send it to me okay and uh, we will just take a look and if you if you guys are going to do that by your own you're going to face a new problems and if you have any problems just comment it in the videos and I'll just help you and I'll try to deep I'll just help you to debug that okay so try to create that UI which I have just shown you in my previous video and we will try to learn things okay to gather okay so it's like if you're going to get some error and that is going to be new for me then I'll also learn things from you okay so uh, I hope you like this series and um, this was a small series I know but in future we are going to learn more about flutter okay and um, so um, that's all for this series uh, I hope you understood or you cleared this stuff how UIs are built into the flutter okay and uh, I'll just learn start learning about how to use or how to create UIs into the iOS and I'll make a series for that too okay so um, for now um, bye bye take care and I'll see you in my next one Thank you.